Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 45 of Ebrius SMP. In the last episode, we finished off this nether tunnel, but I still have one thing that bothers me, is this side here. Uh, I need a way to get on top of the bedrock, because I want to make a piston bolt to the nether uh, portal, uh, to the nether hub portal even, and to a double blaze spawner, and maybe to the end portal and stuff like that. So uh, we need to dig a little bit of this netherrack out, and maybe break some more bedrock. I think I'm gonna do another uh, size room like this on the other side here, and probably make it just the same, uh, like so, and then put a uh, minecart elevator on the corner, or on the corner, on this edge of the room, so it would be like where this ladder is, but probably a few blocks over because I need a bit more space. So yeah, let me get some resources going, do some digging to be happening, and I'll be back once I'm ready to show you some progress. Alrighty, I decided to do the room just the same as this side over here, just so it's consistent. And over here, I started installing a uh, minecart elevator. It currently does work with just me, uh, to a certain point. The third slime block there isn't connected yet because I need to remove some bedrock, which we're gonna go do next. So let me grab my bedrock breaking box here. Let's ender pearl up to the top. And let's start seeing where this is. Am I gonna need to move the villagers a little bit? I might have to. Uh, that's no problem. So yeah, let me construct the uh, lazy chunk detector and remove the bedrock. You've already seen me do this, so I'll just do, a, do it on camera because it's a little bit grindy. And I'll be back in when I have it done just a, in just a bit. I finished off the minecart elevator here. It is fully functioning. There is only one problem that I currently have. Is if I put um, carpets like this and then I push this button, we're gonna have both of them pop off. So I wanna replace this piston here and this redstone block with something else to trigger this piston and uh, have that trigger by this redstone dust basically. So I need a, uh, a certain amount of delay for this guy to trigger this piston. So I need to put that in. It could work maybe if I just do a torch here and a block there and a dust there which won't power the piston because it needs a direct input. So we could go down like so, and then power this block like that. And then if we take this and go up one, this is still gonna connect, but we can put a block there to block it off. That should, should work, hopefully. And then if we have a block here, we can't turn off that torch. We can turn it off on this side by using this wood, which would work. Yeah, let's see if it works upwards. Yeah, it does, it's the same amount of delay. That works. We can try that and then maybe I can try and fit it somehow. I mean, I can put the torch behind here and then just redstone dust around to the piston. Hold on, let's try that. Let's do this, and then that, that, that. And then take this off, this off, those off, that we don't need. That off, and that off. That works. And I can try, like this turns off by that. We would need a, that would be a dust there, but then the thing turns off. Because I want to try and turn off this torch from all of the sides, if possible. But this guy will be a problem because we can't power anything downwards except a piston, which would have to power what? We'd have to power that torch by powering one of those redstone lines. Maybe we could. Like, I don't know. I can try because we can put underneath the slab here, we have just this block, which is an empty space. And over here is also an empty space. So we can put a dust there and a repeater over here. And that won't turn off the torch because it's not a full thing. So we need to go around again. Uh, so we do that, that, that needs to be solid. So we need to go here. Will that work? I think it will. If we do a repeater here, I'll still power that even when I power this. 
Yeah, that works. If I grab some more buttons, well, I have one more here. If we do that, that works. And then we need to do the same for this side. So we do that. Let's go around here like that. Put a redstone, redstone, redstone. Actually, this can just be a redstone line. It doesn't have to be anything else. We don't, we don't need repeaters, actually. Uh, and the only one would, would be different would be this one. Hmm. We could use an observer, but that's going to spit out a block. Then we need a four tick repeater delay. Or actually a two tick. We could do a piston facing downwards with a redstone block. I don't know if that's going to work. Let me try and figure this out and see where I can put this redstone torch. Because I'm going to have a carpet on this level anyway. So I can put redstone all I want because it's all going to be hidden anyway. Well, we're going to have those little bits of particles, but that's fine. So yeah, let me try and work this out and I'll be back once I have it done. Okay, I got it figured out now. Uh, it's just a lot of redstone. Basically, I took the piston and the redstone block, moved it one block down so it powers the piston from below. And then I can just run a redstone line from all of the four uh, input lines, basically. Uh, let me get some blocks here. Uh, so we can power it from there. And then there, it's the same redstone line. So basically there works the same. And this guy just have a red, has a redstone that's there and it powers that. And the, uh, the whole redstone from the uh, minecart elevator is basically triggered. There's a redstone torch like right below there that powers that block that has a, actually no, we don't need that block. The redstone torch is right next to that spruce wood that powers that block that has a red, another redstone torch on top that powers this redstone uh, dust when I push the button down below when the signal travels upwards. So that is all nice and dandy. And now we can just run a line of blocks here. Let's grab some carpet. I'm probably not gonna have enough, so I'm gonna need to go grab some more. But we can do that and then run carpet like so, grab another block. I could even use string here if I wanted to, but blocks are fine, it's just iron. Then we're gonna do another line. Do we need to actually? Now that I changed it, we don't actually have to. Uh, yeah, we do. Unless I power the piston down by one block. Will that work? I can power. So if we would want to have stairs here, like that, all around. Can figure out to power that piston a bit differently. The bottom line should stay the same because that redstone dust is in the same spot. So we can go here like this and then I fell. I fall even. So we need to go just down a little bit. So let me grab I have another rack. I have slime. It's easy to break. So if we power if we power this block like so yeah that'll work so like that like that and we need one more here and then some redstone i think it shouldn't get blocked yeah oh that powers that so we need a repeater there or we could even do yeah we need a repeater anyway yeah i'm just gonna be fine like so let's get up top again it's gonna be a bit far but that's fine just run back quickly, grab some more stairs, and now go around here and try and not fall off the edge like I did last time. Like this. Again, sneaking on stairs. It's problematic. Mojang, fix it, please. Because if you stand on the top here, you're fine. But if you stand on the bottom edge, you're still fine. I don't know how, how like, is it when you transition from both? Yeah. That's where it happens. Okay. We learn every day new things that Minecraft is buggy and weird. So I'll stand on the carpet and not place stairs properly. There we go. Like that. And that I think looks fine. It's all spawn proof and we don't need anything other than that I think here because we just need to get down and the rest here, I think I'll just fill in with iron blocks here. That doesn't need to change. We're just gonna fill all this hole that I made that is no longer needed. 
I could use it for something, but I really don't need to. Uh, and I'm going to do uh, a carpet design of some kind around here. I'm going to go in creative, get something built, and I'll just do, I don't know, I'll... I will count out how many blocks goes here and do something that is that covers that up on all sides. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but something interesting, something maybe with brown and yellow, maybe orange or something like that. I'm going to see. Uh, I'm going to go do that and I'll be back shortly when we can build it in together. I got a design in creative. It's going to be uh, this big. I don't know how big exactly it is like on the side but it's 11 blocks from this spruce stair so that would be 12 13 like 14 in length diagonally and we need a bunch of carpets so i want to show you how to quickly make a little carpet duping station i just need to go grab some chests i thought i had everything um so let's go down quickly and grab some chests just two will do i think and what you do is, I'm just going to go out of where I'm going to build this. We're going to grab two chests here. We're going to put a couple of hoppers into them like so. Then the minecart with hopper that we need to craft and make, which I have minecarts downstairs, but I'm lazy. So we're going to make a crafting table and grab one block of you and make from there and then another block because we need two of them and do like so. So we're going to need those for the hoppers. Then the slime blocks are going to come over here, like so, and like so. And then we need some leaves here, which allows us the chest to be opened and they're removable blocks. So we can just have this nicely covered. It's going to be temporary anyway, but you can keep the items inside the, uh, the hoppers at all times. Uh, with this and I'm gonna go up one block here as well just to cover them up like this then you can grab your powered rails or activator rails I think maybe even normal rails work but I'm not sure and then you place your carpet on the end then we place a sticky piston facing into the slime blocks like so and next we're gonna grab just a block here and a block here just because so we don't get uh, item or whatchamacallit the the slime block glitches and I'm not gonna place an observer there like so we're just gonna do one here like this and another one on this side like so if I can jump there we go then we're going to grab our sticky pistons and go one here, one here, and an observer like so and like so. And then we can just put a lever there and we got carpet duping in this place. And it's all getting put on top of the slime blocks currently because I forgot a crucial thing. And that is to put in the minecart hoppers. So we need to grab a rail, put a rail there, grab our minecart hoppers like so. Another one like this, put a rail, minecart there on the rail, then we can break the rail like so, grab the things that we dropped, and do the same thing here on the other side, put a rail down, minecart, and then break the rail like so, and block it off again. And we need to block it off like so, so we don't get items spilling out on the side, and we should be good, like that. There might be a few entities stu stuck on top there, but most of it should go in here. So let me now wait for uh, some carpets to dupe. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a speedy up bit of me building this, because I don't have time to edit a time lapse today. Uh, we're going to probably do a time lapse of something tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you in just a sec. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
this is what the design looks like from a little bit further away and we can take a nice fly around and look at it from the sky as well and like that uh, i think it looks cool we might work on it in between episodes a little bit uh, but for the most part it's done it's nice uh, maybe i'll add a border as well of like black carpet or something but i don't have it right now so it's fine but yeah uh, with that being said i want to thank you all for watching uh, I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you should hit the like button. Consider subscribing to see new videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.